lionfish are unwanted alien invaders in the Caribbean, and they are destroying native fish stocks. By spearing lionfish and trying to feed them to the sharks of the Hardinez Reef, Noel's plan is to encourage the sharks to start preying on them instinctively. It's taken time and patience. But at last, it seems to be working. Creatures of the Indo-Pacific, lionfish first arrived here in the mid-80s. Florida fish collectors are blamed. As specimens grew too big for their tanks, some were released into the waterways. A recent study of DNA evidence suggests that the whole plague can be narrowed to around a dozen lionfish that interbred. A large female can produce up to two million eggs per year that drift on the ocean currents before the spawn settle on the reef. So it didn't take long for a few aliens to become a scourge. Growing up to a foot long, protected by an array of highly venomous spines, and with a lifespan of up to 15 years, lionfish here have no natural predators to keep their numbers in check. As a result, they've spread at a prodigious rate. Voracious feeders, they take anything they can catch, not only small fish, but also the young of larger species. They have decimated native fish populations that have in places been reduced by over 80%. They are a particular threat in mangroves that normally provide a safe nursery for the young of many fish. And their spread shows no sign of slowing down. Changing the shark's feeding behavior could be the salvation of the reef.